Today I'll be addressing how to configure your Polera INX or IDX push button. Step 1. Downloading the app. Download the Polera Field Service app from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Step 2. Opening the app. Open the Polera Field Service app. The app will automatically scan for nearby devices that are powered on. Tap on the system you wish to connect to, type in your password, and tap connect. For first connection, enter the default password which is 1234. Step 3. Connecting to the button. Upon powering up the button for the first time, the button will periodically play a special voice message stating change password. This is to force you to change from the default password. This message will only go away once you change it to anything other than 1, 2, 3, 4. To change the password, follow this procedure. Tap on the password button, type in 1, 2, 3, 4 for the current password, and choose new password and tap save. Step 4. Updating the firmware. The button will prompt you that a firmware update is available, when detected, on each successful connection. It is recommended to update to the latest version available when prompted. The latest firmware version is bundled within the software, so ensure you are running the latest version of Player Field Service app available from your app store. To update the firmware, follow this procedure. Tap OK on the notice, tap on the firmware update button, tap on update firmware. All firmware versions available will be shown. To confirm, tap on the folder icon in the upper right and select check for updates. Navigate to the INX or IDX PFW file and select Download, if available. Navigate back and choose the latest version available and tap Select File. The firmware will now begin to update. Do not shut off your system or navigate away from this screen during this procedure. The button will automatically power cycle and beep when back online. Reconnect to your button and confirm the firmware was updated properly. Step 5. Changing the settings. Within the settings section, you will be able to change parameters with the locator tone, speech message, and button push force. For Carmana beacons, ensure the flash pattern matches your application. If you need to revert back to factory defaults, tap the ellipsis icon in the upper right. Tap the right button once adjustments are completed to send updates to the button. Step 6. Audio update. The audio update section will allow you to change one of the alternate speech messages available. Either of these can be updated with your own custom message. Consult the Polera user manual or visit polera.com for importing your own audio file. Files must be in an uncompressed OGG file format. The default speech message is yellow lights are flashing, play twice, as per FHWA requirements. Choosing the active speech message is done via the settings section. Step 7. Counters. The counters section will allow you to view the running total statistics for the button. This requires firmware version 1.01 .01 or newer. The IDX button versions will have another statistic to count how many contactless activations have occurred. This is valuable data in judging the adoption rate of pedestrians using this activation method. Step 8. Wireless sync. The wireless sync section will allow you to enable or disable this feature. For Carmana beacons, this feature should be disabled as it is not used. This feature is meant for button-to-button -button communication, while Carmana utilizes the built-in radio in the beacon system for wireless communication instead. Step 9. Eye Detect Settings The eye detect settings will allow you to adjust the contact list detection settings for the IDX model only. INX models will not have this section visible to them. For added functionality, ensure you are running firmware version 1.01 .01 or greater for this section. The toggle switch will allow you to turn on or off the contact list detection. Detection profile 1 should be used for more granular adjustments. Range can be set from 0 to 24, with 0 being the shortest distance and 24 being the longest trigger distance setting. The longer the distance setting, the further a pedestrian can be from the button and be detected. Minimum wave time can be adjusted from 0 to 500 milliseconds. The lower the value, the less time a moving object, such as a pedestrian's hand, needs to be detected by the sensor. Once adjustments have been made, tap the Save button to send the update to the button. Step 10. Button Naming 
Each button can be renamed based on their location and direction for easy identification. Click on the Name ID section at the bottom of the screen and rename your button accordingly. No spaces can be used in the name of the button. Note, Android users will be using the Info Diagnostic section for renaming the button. For more videos and information, please visit us at support.carmana.com.